Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Karen Palka, and I'll be speaking with Ernest Worth Toward. Today's show is sponsored by Women's Life Insurance Society. Welcome, Ernest, to Spotlight. Thanks, Karen, for having me. Oh, it's exciting to talk with you about all the different things that you do, running a large nonprofit as a CEO, but all of these other things. But today, we have rocked the block, and it has nothing to do with music. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> um, for those of the, uh, your viewers that are not aware, Rock the Block is a partnership that is uh, in its fifth year. And we literally go into the community in one day, even though there are days that build up and, and after it, but a one day focus and do repairs and beautification in a um, neighborhood that has been selected. Our, our key partners are the Blue Water Area Chamber and of course the city of Port Huron. And this year's focus is in the Haynes Park area, which if you haven't been by there, they've already done the beautification process there with new equipment and everything. And the block area is more than just a block. It ranges from right there at SC4 on Glenwood, all the way up to McLaren Port Huron and over to Stone Street. So we're working on multiple houses in that area, uh, serving not just the area, but many families in that area, including Hunter Hospitality House. You know, when you said those locations, I was wondering if that was going to be included. We, so. we actually already helped them in a partnership, and we have multiple, multiple times we have a great relationship with them. And we redid the ramp oh, and yes. fixed it. Now, that. during Rock the Block, because it's a part of it as well, we will have volunteers out there staining that portion too. Oh, wonderful. So we, we serve families and other extension of families uh, right. through other nonprofits as well. Right. So It's really a great opportunity for people to volunteer and maybe get their feet wet with Habitat to volunteer all year long. So how it can is, someone get in, you know, uh, how can someone get in and volunteer for this event on Saturday, August? August 26th, August yes. 26th. So your best link is you can go right in through the chamber and speak to Joyce. She would help you. Mm -hmm. well, Thelma would too, if you can ever sure. get a hold of her as busy as she is. <laughs> and um, Kara Geib from our office actually oversees this entire Rock the Block program. We Our number is 810-985-9080 and Kara's extension is 200. Uh, like you said, though, this is not our only opportunity to volunteer at Habitat Rock the Block. This month is a huge focus, and we generally have over 100 volunteers that help on between eight and two on this day. Even though we do lead up prep work with key volunteers and regular volunteers and then after. Okay. Part of this program, though, is um, recognizing that the families that are being served, there's no cost. Oh, wow. We do this through grants, through dedicated sponsorships, which I can't, couldn't possibly list them all right now, and we always are looking for more sponsors mm -hmm. because the more money we have, the better opportunity we do to serve the community. Yes. Also, too, your income does not matter. Wow. We also serve landlords as well because we want every part of the community and neighborhood, neighborhood. that we're working with mm -hmm. to have the opportunity to repair, uh, beautify, and strengthen our housing industry. So. Absolutely. And this is all exterior work it is. during this time frame. And like you said, some of exterior work requires more than just that portion of a day. So they can, they can work those things out, those uh, landlords and homeowners. But I love the idea that, you know, we're, we're working around and over the course of time, this has only been five years, how many people you've impacted to make our community stronger. Exactly. So you're talking about when we say rock the block, it's really plural because we go into an area, we canvas, we we send letters to the homeowners through the tax um, base so that we know that 
who we're directly contacting and, and saying, we're here and we're happy to serve uh, and give you the opportunity to work with us and our volunteers to beautify and strengthen their home and their neighbors' homes. We could not do this without our sponsors. Um, you can go to our website and the chambers and the, all of the sponsors are listed there. We could not without our partnerships, which are key, which is the Blue Water Area Chamber. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Thelma is so instrumental in our community oh, and making sure. it so strong. Um, and getting to serve with her on anything is is a blessing for me, and I know you oh, know yeah, that for sure. too. Complete joy. And her friendship. Yes. And Joyce is is just phenomenal there too. And then of course we partner with. Um, Nancy Windsor in the uh, oh, city, city of Port Huron, mm -hmm. um, Parks and Rec, to make sure that wherever we're working, if there's a park within that vicinity, it's getting the work done too. Well. This year we're really blessed because the work was keyed in to be done before, where last mm -hmm. year's had to be finished after, and if you've been to Gratiot yes. um, Park, um, that was one of the parks, and that's, that's beautiful too, yeah. but all a part of Rock the Block. Wow. So. so I feel like it's a mission work within our own community because I've taken my children to Kentucky or other mission work. And so, you know, let's serve in our community, let's serve afar, but, you know, reach out to Habitat, Blue Water, or the Chamber, Blue Water Chamber, mm -hmm. and uh, contribute because I think that together we can make our community stronger. Yes, so. and even if you can't with this particular one, it is an annual event. Mm -hmm. You can sponsor, you can uh, volunteer, and you can work with Blue Water Habitat any time of the year. Yes. But if you want to focus, especially like a group, um, if you have a business or a nonprofit, you can sign up to volunteer as a group. Yes. Um, and it's actually a very fun day too. Sounds you can like learn to do things that you thought I, w I would never kn think I could do that. Yes, you know? absolutely. Yeah, and we have professionals on site of every one of our sites okay. that helps you do that. Okay. So, so it's not like we're putting a saw in your hand and go, <laughs> go at it, you know? Uh, we make sure that all of those safety measures are in place. Yes, you too. have the right people leading That's it out. Right. So what a great event, and thank you so much for doing what you do. Thank you, Karen. And thank you for joining us on Spotlight.